Hey guys, Tyler here, PartsForScooters.com. Today, let's discuss gearboxes. First things first, the main operation of this gearbox is to reduce the amount of times the wheel spins in accordance to the clutch on the other side. Basically, the clutch is driving the input shaft, where then the power is transmitted from the counter shaft gear to the final drive gear and out the final drive shaft to the wheel. Now here is a fully stock QMB139 engine, which I'm going to show you how to determine what your gear ratio is. What I do, put a piece of tape on the bell, you know, pointing straight down towards the ground, and then same with the tire. Put a piece of tape on your tire, facing straight down towards the ground. Now what we're going to do is rotate the tire one full time and count how many times the clutch bell turns in accordance to the tire. So on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just about 13, a little over 13. We could say this is a 13 to 1 gear ratio on a stock engine here. Now here's the same engine, a QMB139, both long case from the last shot, long case on this shot, but this engine has the 4917 upgrade gears that you normally see. I should say the most common up gear. Now watch how many times this spins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just over 10, like 10.2. So this engine has a taller gear, a 10.2 to one if we would say. Here are some things to keep in mind when you're deciding to finally upgrade your gear set. Yes, you can go too big. If you install a gear that is too tall, an engine sometimes won't have the power to reach top speed. Whenever you install a taller gear, you're in turn lowering the RPMs on the full speed range. Now you can combat that with variator tuning, but still, I gotta say, if you have a stock 150 GY6, don't put the 2.0 Naraku gears in there. You'll never get to top speed. Even if you lowered your, your variator rolling weights to say nine gram on a street scooter, don't do it. You need to have the power to push these gears. Also, keep in mind when ordering any kind of gear set for your scooter that most of the time, this shop press is gonna be needed to do the gear swap. There are a few options available, like our Jazel kits that are a direct installation with no press needed but most of the time you're going to want to find a local automobile shop that has one of these to be able to help you with the job remember that whenever you change these gearboxes anything inside of them always have a new gasket on hand if you are interested in upgrading the gearbox on your scooter but you're unsure of what you may need Message us, find us on Facebook, give us a call, let us know your setup and we can probably get you on the right style gear set, get you going a little bit faster. If you like this video for any reason, be sure to give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for more little videos in the future. Thanks.